Let's say you're on the tail end of a long night of living it up, and now you want to get something down into your belly to soak up some of that fun you've been having. But the kitchen's closed and your options are slim to none, then just as you reach for another fistful of stale peanuts, you see them. Twinkling beacons of soused sustenance. It's pickled sausage and eggs to the rescue, and I'm making my day. So let's get started. First, let's put together the pickling solution, and this one is gonna be really, really simple. My sausage already has a ton of great flavor built in, so I don't need to add a lot of extra herbs or spices to this particular brine. This one is more about equalization than alteration. I just wanna make sure it doesn't leach too much saltiness or heat and lose that to the brine. So I'm only gonna be adding in salt and heat. So I've got two cups of water here, and I'm gonna add in two cups of white vinegar. So that's one quart of water, and for one quart, I add in one tablespoon of salt. For one liter, that's 20 grams of salt. Now I'm just gonna add in a handful of these dried red chilies, and I don't know what kind these are, but I know that they are brutally hot, and I like that. So, just gonna add those in. I'll bring this up to a boil, and then I'll turn it down, let that simmer for just five minutes, and then we'll let that cool off just a little bit before we pour it over those sausages. All I'm really doing here is getting that salt dissolved and then kinda jump-starting these dried chilies to get them softened up a bit and get them to start releasing that heat. All right, this is ready to go. I just want it to cool down a little bit before I pour it over the sausages. And I'm also gonna add in a few drops of red food coloring to give it that authentic bar room pickled sausage look. Plus if you wanna get all natural about it, you could use beets here. I think that gives it more of a purple look than a red look. Oh yeah, now we're getting there. <laughs> looks pretty good and while this cools down just a little bit I'll go ahead and pack those sausages. I've got my homemade red hot sausage here and if you want to see how I made these you can check that video out on the channel. Of course you can always use your favorite store-bought sausage as well. Just not gonna be as good. So all I'm gonna do is take good old corn pop and I'm gonna bust a bunch of little holes in these guys and then pop them in the jar. Let's see if I can Kind of put them in an organized way to make it look a little cool, but that's not necessary. You can just dump them right in there. gaps to fill you can cut your sausage into chunks too it'll work out just fine and now all I've got to do is pour this warm pickling solution over these guys just want to get them covered up oh, oh, oh. just poke some of those chili peppers down and around there a little shake. All right, we'll top it off. The rest of my peppers in there. Now this goes out into the refrigerator for a week, but it's gonna be even better after two. Well, that recipe was far too quick and easy, so now let's complete the classic drinking snack duet and make us some pickled eggs. 
the sausages already had a ton of flavor in them before I pickled them. But these eggs, well, they just taste like eggs. So I am gonna make a flavorful brine and add some veggies to these as well. I'm gonna start by blanching these little pearl onions. I got some carrot slices here and a few cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna drop these into some boiling water for a minute, then I'll take them out and shock them in some ice water, and that's gonna help to just kind of soften them up a tiny bit. They'll still be plenty crunchy when they're done, and it's also gonna help me get the skins off of these onions. A few moments later. I do want my eggs to be spicy too, so I'm gonna toss in a couple of habanero peppers. I don't need to blanch these because they're already soft. I'm just gonna take the tops off to let that brine get in there and work around. If you wanna leave the stems on, you can just poke them a few times and that'll get you the same result. So again, I'm gonna make one quart of pickling solution. And that is a 2% solution, but you can play around with that. You can make it a little saltier if you like. Oh, I've got my quart. Two cups of water, two cups of vinegar, one tablespoon salt for that 2% solution. If you're using liters, that is 20 grams per liter, of course. And I just want to dissolve that salt. And from this point on, everything that I'm gonna throw in here is optional. And I do encourage you to play around with different spices, different veggies, and just really get creative and have fun with your pickled eggs. <laughs> so, I am gonna add in one tablespoon of pickling spices. I also like a little bit of sugar in my pickled eggs. So I'll go with one tablespoon of sugar. Just kind of takes the sour bite off of there. A lot of times when you see pickled eggs, they're kind of a reddish or pinkish color. And if you want that color, it's real easy. Just take a couple of already pickled beets or beet slices and put them in the jar with your eggs and put some of that brine from this jar into your brine. However, where I come from, the pickled eggs for some reason are always yellow. So if you want that color, you can add about a teaspoon of turmeric into your brine. But since I bought food coloring for those sausages, I'm just gonna add some of the yellow food coloring into this when I take it off of the heat. So now again, I'll just bring this one up to a boil, let that steep for about five minutes, then I'll shut it down and let it cool down slightly while I assemble my jar. Now my salt's dissolved, I'm gonna give this a little taste. Mm. Oh, that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna add in one more teaspoon of salt. That should get me what I'm looking for. Always make sure and taste your stuff. And then you can adjust it to where you like it. Make sure you get the results you're looking for. All right, that looks good. It's been about five minutes, and now I'm gonna set this aside to cool down just a little bit. It's still gonna go into the eggs pretty hot, but it's really hot right now, and that'll give me just about enough time to put my jar together. So I'll start by straining out some of my pickling spices from that brine, get those down to the bottom. And then I'm gonna kinda of layer this together. I'll throw on some of the onions and carrot, garlic, get one of those habaneros down to the bottom. Then we'll cover those up with some eggs.
nestle it all in there. Again, no reason to pack anything really tightly. And now we'll just go in there and cover everything up with that hot brine. Shake out any air bubbles. And we'll top that off. Perfect. And now this goes out into the refrigerator right alongside of those sausages for a week. But again, two weeks is even better. Much, much, much later. It's been a long time coming, and now it's finally time to see how we did. Let's get started with these sausages. Oh, of course that smells really vinegary. Oh, I can feel that sausage has really firmed up in there. Great inside. <laughs> Check out that bite. Mmm, there it is. <laughs> still nice and spicy, and the sausage still has plenty of good flavor that's cutting through the vinegar. A lot of the store out ones, all you can really taste is that vinegar, and the texture is way, way better than anything you're gonna get in the store. If you haven't noticed, those tend to get pretty mushy down in the middle, and these will get there too, but it's gonna be months before the vinegar breaks them down and gets them that soft. Oh, that is a good pickled sausage. <laughs> Let's get into these eggs. Good pickled onion. Mm. Oh, that is a beautiful thing. Check out that bite. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Great flavor. Mm. The spices. And those onions really got in there. And the spiciness from the peppers is nice, but the yolks are fatty enough to keep the heat down to a nice, reasonable level. That is a great pickled egg. <laughs> of course, you don't have to be drinking to enjoy these little beauties. I've loved these since I was just a wee child. However, if you're planning on getting pickled, get pickled. Thanks for watching.